regarding your directive, I know that uh, outside of your remarks, you said some of this depends on legislative action. But in terms of the directive now, are you ordering city agencies or outreach teams to begin today removing people from the streets of New York? And if so, how many people are you anticipating? Well, first, we don't know the anticipation of how many people are uh, at a place where they are endangering uh, themselves by not being able to take care of their basic needs. We don't know the count. Uh, we know there are far too many. And it was something that we discovered during this when um, my chief counsel uh, stated when he went out in the subway system uh, over to do an overnighter, and we were comparing the notes. We were seeing the same thing. Uh, many of our... Uh, uh, teams were really unsure of how to engage. The other day I spoke to a young man who didn't have any shoes on. I sat down next to him and started speaking with him. There were some issues. And, you know, if we don't do that engagement and we don't have clarity that if a person's not taking, have, taking care of their basic needs, uh, that, it, it, that it endangers them, um, if, we don't, if we don't feel comfortable enough because the law is unclear, we need to make it clear. But we're sending a real message with the training today um, with our teams based on our observations from 11 months of doing this. Each month we did something different. Each um, period of coming back, we did something different. We looked at the end of the lines. We looked at um, how to put people in the subway system. We kept evolving until we got to this point here. And there's going to be another evolution. There's going to be another evolution. But what we are stating, we're not going to stay. We're going to go uh, observation. And this team is in the subway system. We're on the streets. We are engaged. You can't solve the problem from an ivory tower. And so what we're saying to our responders that we want you to, to be engaged, make the right determination if a person is not taking care of their basic needs. And if you can't answer the question, call the clinical experts and use your uh, FaceTime, use whatever devices you have to, to go or, or video and show, this is what I have in front of me. Does this meet the criteria to bring this person to get evaluated at a hospital? The clinicians would make it, and the police officers have a basic right to do that also. Our first uh, frontline workers also have that right to do so also. They've been reluctant because there has not been any real clarity, and we're giving them clarity with the new training that we put in place.